Hello everyone, Sigmalator here. Welcome back to Horizon Forbidden West. Oh, I see a thing. And I did see the red flare, uh, what was it called? Fire Gleam. Not sure what that's what that's done for me, but I'll take it. Right, it's another drone there, so I'll wait for that to come back round, I think. We'll grab that as well. I wonder. Have a look at this map. Maybe the entrance is in that rebel camp. Rebel camp here, because there's this bit here that seems to lead up to the mountains. So maybe. That will lead round to here because I can't see any other possible entrance. All right, we'll attack that one next. The clan stood in. <gasps> Check the tags. Oh. I'll have to figure out what to do with them later. Without a leader, the rebels should abandon this place. But I could always deal with them now. Now there's more than... Her. You got it. Very 
There we go. Ah! Wow, okay. I'm dumb. I was looking for like a, a proper cave entrance. Right, into the water. That's fine, I have I have the breathing gear. We are good. There you are. Now, what's inside? She'll definitely be interested in the transmitter inside. Excellent. Right, good. We finally got that all cleared up. Went right to this campfire because that's not discovered yet. More campfires, the better. Don't know if that's good for anything, but I'll take it. Hello. Here we go. Silga, I have returned. Aloy, the words stopped coming from the spike. What happened? This is what was speaking to your rig. It's old world equipment used for communicating over long distances. The message must have shut off when I took it, but I heard the note the voice was talking about. What was it? During an ancient war. A woman was trying to deliver supplies to a man she knew. She wanted him to know that their past disagreements didn't matter in the big picture. That she'd be thinking of him when the end came. Oh. I guess she and I are kin of a sort. 
I wish I could give my brother a message like that. Tell him that I forgave him. He would have wanted that. I know. This man, the, the old one, did he ever hear the message? I don't think so. I guess that's often the way of it then. But still, with the power of that device you found, the sender had hope that he might have heard it. What a feat! To send messages near and far. Can I keep this? It's a treasure. Of course. Thank you. Sometimes people don't ever get to hear what they should. But with this thing, maybe I can get them talking to one another. From Mainspring, all the way to who knows where. Hey, I, uh, I found a few more things in the supply cache. Might be able to make something out of them. Can I use your workbench? Sure. Yeah, right over there. Anytime, Aloy. It's all yours. Yay! I well, think I know just what to do with these parts. Ooh, where am I making this time? Quest item. Spin. As from old world technology, this weapon launches drill spikes which cause damage over time and accelerate tearing arm off. Ooh, excellent. Ooh, and I've got a patch upgrade, upgrade as well. Excellent. Fox hide for that one, and I need a salmon bone for that one. Horned lizard skin and vulture. God, there, there is a lot. That turned out well. Can't wait to try it. Oh yes, yeah, skill points. What are you? Shredder Gauntlet? Oh, yes! I will be having that, thank you. Alright, that's all caught up. Price on the northern village of Bleeding Mark are long overdue. Alright, let's crack on with that one then. This must be the village Zoko was talking about. It looks like the whole place flooded. Maybe from a recent storm. I wonder if anyone made it out. Jesus. Let's check around the shore. shortage and scuttle spear. Hey, Outlander! These machines got us trapped up here. We lost our weapons in the mudslide. Sit tight. I'll take care of them.
right, I can't do that in the thing. Because the frost won't help you. I dodge that. There we go. Coming down. Oh, I hate snap moves. Ah, you showed those machines. Is everyone okay? Better now, without snap moths prowling around. You sure know how to fight. Yeah. I saw some of our comrades stuck on the eastern cliffs. They could use a hand too, if you're willing. Okay, I'll check it out. 
We'll head for the shore on the other side to regroup. Thanks again. You are welcome, my guy. in my pack yeah I kind of need them after that for the Tanakhs to get down from the cliff. That big crane could help. If I can get it into the right position, I could make a bridge for them. Okay, that's something to do. Oh, a little, but I must be stuck on something else. My focus can help me search. It's okay. No, that's not going to do anything. There's fire gleam on those rocks. Igniting it should clear the way through the crane. Ah, there we go. in place. Now, I'm going to reach the cliff. I should take a look at the bottom of the crane's arm. See if there's a way to move it. Well, we know there is. Ah! Take a look. If I detach those cables, the arm should drop the rest of the way. The thing's about to drop! Watch out! We're clear. There we go. Blood of the Ten. How'd you manage to do that? I don't know how you did it, but thanks for the rescue. Is everyone okay? His legs snapped against some debris as we were making a run for it, but he'll live. How'd you get stuck up here? 
A mudslide tore through the village in the last storm. This ledge was just above the flood when we got to it. And by the time everything calmed down, the water had receded, leaving us stranded. And we couldn't leave a fellow soldier behind. Can you make it to the shore from here? We'll manage. I think I saw Natiko in an overlook there. We'll head for her location. She'll know what we should do next. When the mudslide hit, I saw some of the others running towards the metal towers. You might want to check there. Thanks. I'll look into it. There we go. Sorted. For the most part, anyway. Go to the metal towers. Which is this one. <laughs> Looks like it's about to fall. Ah, okay. Push. We could make a bridge to the broken building. Well, change the focus didn't pick up on that. That works. Now I just need to climb inside to get to the top. Should be able to cross over to the survivors from there. There we go. There we go. There's the ladder on the other building. I can make that jump. Whoa, whoa! No! That was our only way out! No, it isn't. I'd better check on the survivors first. Everyone okay? You're not one of us. Sorry. Yes. We took shelter in here when a mudslide swept through the village, but debris blocked the passage we came in through. That ladder was our only way out, but we couldn't reach it from here. Don't worry. I'll find us another way out of here. Do you know what happened? To the others there are more who made it they're safe now thank the ten can you make it to the shore from here if you find us a way out we'll make it okay sit tight for now all right
I should do it. Okay, you should have a way out. Thanks. We'll head to the shore in a moment. All right, good for you. Okay, I think that's it for survivors. They said they'd regroup with someone named Natika on the shore. I should check in with her. Yep. Yeah. Ah, uh, here we are. Hello, everyone. Then we have to search. We will. Rest now. More survivors on that overlook. I'm Natika, and I believe I have you to thank for saving these soldiers. Aloy, they mentioned there was a mudslide. The last storm caused a deluge that brought down half the mountain. The mudslide barreled right through the village. We're lucky so many survived, but we're still missing one. Kentok, my squad leader. And the one in command of this place. Do you know where he was when the storm hit? I was the last one to see him, just before. I told him I wanted to leave this place to pledge my blade to the chief's guard, but he refused to discharge me from the squad. All Tanakt are stubborn fighters, but Kentok is more so than most. So I walked out. I was coming back from the opposite ridge when I saw the mudslide. You were coming back to make amends. I must find him. If anyone can survive such a storm, it's him. You said Kentok is your squad leader? I've trained under him ever since I was assigned to his squad. <laughs> He's tough as a shell snapper. Unforgiving as the desert. But my blade is quicker, deadlier because of him. And he taught me to fight for duty, not just glory. To serve something greater than yourself? Yes. And yet he wants me to be tethered to this place, rather than fulfilling a greater purpose with the Chief's Guard. You said you wanted to pledge your blade to the Chief's Guard. Is that what the Marshals are? No. The Marshals travel the breadth of the clan lands, enacting Chief Hikaru's will. The Guard remains at the Grove to defend it and the Chief. But like the Marshals, only a handful are chosen for such an honor. So why did Kentok not want you to go? He claimed that the greater honor was to serve my squad and clan. But all we do here is gather supplies for ink. How can that compare to guarding the grove? The chief himself. So a mudslide did all this? Must have been quite a storm. We've had more and more of them over the last few years. Torrential rain, lightning strikes, winds that rattle the metal towers. But this last one was the worst yet. This area used to be as arid as the rest of the desert. The storms have changed all that. There's a water shortage in the capital. Could this help? The wound in the sand is low? Yes, we're not the only ones dealing with problems. But unfortunately, no. This water is poisoned by ash blood. Undrinkable as machine oil. The Inker's apprentice in Scalding Spear mentioned you exchange ash blood for water. It's the way of the desert, where other villages hunt for food or machine parts to trade with the capital. We collect rocks. Important rocks. The clan relies on ash blood to mark their skin. How can they record their glories without our supply? Fair enough. I can take another look around the village. Where did you last see? Natika. I'm here. Where's Kentok? Did he make it? We're going to find him. He saved me. Pushed me out of the way as everything collapsed. But then the flood took him. Towards the gouge. The gouge? It's an ancient passage that leads deep underground. Come. I'll show you. Natika. We need orders. We're exposed out here. Only half of us can hold a blade if machines come. What do you want us to do? Go. The gouge is in the hillside. Northwest of here. I'll catch up when I can. What are we going to do now? Alrighty. Go to the gouge.
gouge. Looks like an old blind. There's a lot of tree blocking the entrance. Can't tell got Clear some of it to get inside. Time to head in. More shots, thank you. Okay, let's see where this leads. Oh, is that him? Take it easy. You must be Kentok. Oh. I was an outlander, not my name. Matiko sent me to find you. The soldier you saved told us you were swept away by the mudslide. And so, he made it. Good. And... Natika... She came back? Yeah. She was on her way back to talk to you when the mudslide happened. She's looking after the survivors now. It was... My mistake... To... Deny her discharge. A soldier... Is supposed to sacrifice... For the good of the tribe. Looking back now, she was right. I didn't want to let her go. The chief's guard will gain an invaluable soldier. At least after all this, I won't be in the way anymore. I can tell you know a fatal wound when you see one. My service to my clan is done. So, leave me. No. You're not going to die down here. There has to be a way to get you out. There isn't. I tried to climb out. It's no use. The walls are too slick. Water's coming in. From the surface? And not from where I came in. There must be another source. And if I find it, and open it up... You might not be able to move, Kentok. But I think there might be a way to move you. Hey, hey, I need you to stay awake. I'm gonna take a look around. <laughs> You're just like Natika. Relentless as a fire claw. And you should be used to it. Just sit tight. I'm going to get you out of here. Alrighty. The waterfall must be coming from somewhere. I need to get higher up to figure out where it's coming from. Alright. I see. What? Oh, come on. I made that jump. Why? What? <sighs> Come on, Aloy. When that jump is easy to make.
There we go. Grab the thing. Thank you. Okay. The waterfall I saw down below should be coming in. Gotta find its source. Water's coming in from there. I can use the fire gleam to break open that wall. And this whole place should flood. The raft can't talk so should go right up to the top. There we go. You're a stubborn fighter, so keep fighting. only to the hand that commands it he would say that every time we sparred sometimes as an insult <laughs> other times as a compliment but i guess he was right it was always my choice to stay or go i'm sorry you didn't get to make amends so am i what will you do now i'm not sure bleeding mark has a chance to recover and once that's done I could join the Chief's Guard, but I have to lay him to rest first. For the full soldier's honors. Aloy, wait. You saved my comrades, somehow drained the entire village. I want you to have this. Thanks. Thank you. And good luck, whatever you decide. Hey! That's this all sorted. Right. Need to know that's next and second verse. Oh, yeah, we should have got these as well. Right, what we'll do then is. I mean, you're way, way over there. 
Right, let's fast travel over here then. And then bring this episode to a close. And then in the next episode, we can crack on with some of these additional side quests. And there's more to pick up here, as always. But for now, I'm going to end this here. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this, guys. If you liked it, like, subscribe, ding that bell. I've been Sigma later. This has been Horizon Forbidden West, and I'll catch you next time. Take care now.